Hi, I'm Brianna, and I'd like to tell you about my shark engineering project. It's called an automaton. That's just a machine that has its own power source and can do a series of functions, including responding to outside stimuli. The project involved three steps. First, cutting and assembling the pieces of wood to form the mechanism, then constructing the shark out of paper, and finally assembling the electrical circuits to power the motion. First, I made the mechanical assembly. First thing I needed to do was to cut the wooden pieces using a laser cutter. I downloaded the template from littlebits.com. The assembly is a cam. A cam is a device that converts rotary motion into the linear motion, otherwise known as reciprocating movement. As you can see, the motor turns in a circle which makes the arm move back and forth. Next, I built the shark. The shark's body is made of folded cardstock from a template from littlebits.com. The shark's inner structure is made of cardboard, which I reinforced by gluing popsicle sticks to it. To make the shark's pivoting motion smoother, I attached the inner structure to a ball bearing. A bearing is like a skate wheel with balls inside that roll. Finally, I connected the nose of a shark to the cam arm with a wire. All of the electrical elements used to power the shark are made up of little bits. The power source is a 9 volt battery, which is connected to a toggle switch, which turns the mechanism on and off. The toggle switch connects to the DC motor, which drives a the cam. Then another wire connects the circuit to a series of LED lights in the fish and seaweed. The circuit contains a series of pulsing lights. The lights are blinking because I placed a pulse bit before the LEDs, which stops the flow of current intermittently. Then I staggered the blinking by putting an inverter bit in front of the second set of lights, which basically tells it to the opposite of what the first set do. So when the first set of lights are on, the second lights are off, and vice versa. Finally, I added spinning starfish. The motor and lights in the main circuit were drawing a lot of current from the 9 volt, so I decided to make a second circuit for the starfish. I connected two fans to the 9 volt battery and inserted a potentiometer so you can turn the starfish on and off by turning this dial. Then I tape the starfish to the fans. As you can see, they spin very fast. Thanks for watching. I really enjoyed making my shark with little bits.